In this video, we'll show you how to use MOV for multiple genome alignments in DNA Star's Megaline Pro application. First, I'm going to add in some H. pylori genome sequences. I can add these by dragging and dropping the sequences into the project or by using the Add Sequences to Project tool. After doing so, the sequences appear in the overview as solid gray blocks of unequal length, indicating that the sequences have not yet been aligned. Now we want to align these sequences using MOV. We can align using the default parameters by selecting Align using MOV, but we can also adjust the parameters on our alignments by selecting Align with Options, choosing MOV, and making any desired changes before selecting Align. After alignment, you can see that the genomes are displayed in the overview panel as locally collinear blocks, each of which is a conserved region across multiple sequences. We can see that some of the blocks are on the opposite strand, indicated by hanging below the black line, which can be the result of rearrangements such as inversions. Double-click on any block to make it the active block. Any gaps present in the active block are shown by gray bars. We can then choose to examine the active block in the sequence view. Residues for the active block in the sequence view are shown in bright colors, while the flanking sequences in adjacent blocks appear dimmed. We can then choose to navigate through the sequence view using the light blue viewport. We can also choose to apply sequence tracks of interest for further analysis. Using the tabs at the bottom of the window, you can analyze the distance matrix or the tree view for the active blocks. Any of the views in Megaline Pro can be modified using the style panel. 